Hello friends, today we will discuss about ESIC Ward of IP Certificate Online Application Notice. This notice is released on 25th April 2024. You can see this notification on official website ESIC. Here you can see this is the link to see the official website. Okay, in this official website, this is the front page. In front page, you should click on admissions. Then you can see the latest notifications related to Ward of IP certificate. Here you can see different notifications has been released. The first notification this year is released on April 12th, 2024. This is the pre-admission notification. And on 25th April, we got the notification from ESIC headquarters, New Delhi. The same notification has been displayed April 26th date from ESIC regional office, Chennai also. Okay, these two are same. So this is the notification came on 24th April related to the admission process of what of insured persons to get the admission into MBBS, BDS and BSc nursing. Here they have given for this 2024 to 25 academic year in ESIC quota, the total number of MBBS seats were 466. Similarly, the number of BDS seats under ESIC quota are 28 only. Only in Karnataka, we have ESIC Dental College. Next one, the number of BSc nursing seats were 60 seats. If you want to see the details of particular colleges, of various different medical colleges under ESIC, you can visit the name of the universities of respective colleges. And candidates are advised to visit the website regularly for further details because ESIC allotment should be done in two ways. The first one is through All India Quota Counseling and second one is state counseling so that you have to visit these websites regularly to get more information the first one is esic website this is the official website link and dghs this is a medical council committee official website link okay in the notification itself they have mentioned the important instruction to the students the online application for ward of ip certificate should be on laptop or desktop with the help of internet facility and also the link should be provided in the official website www.esic.gov.in here you can see the starting date to apply for online application for what of ip certificate should start from april 25th that is a tentatively date and it should be closed on may 12th at 59 hours and the last date for issue of what of ip certificate is may 15th along with the online application form you have to upload all these documents also the first one is passport size photograph of the what of ip certificate that is a candidates okay 5 to 50 kilobytes size and uh, this is in jpg for Format only. Next one, passport size photograph of IP insured person. The size also should be 5 to 50 kilobytes. This is also in JPG format only. Next, birth certificate or matriculation certificate for, for proof of date of birth. Uh, this is a student's birth certificate or 10th class marks list only. The size should be 10 to 200 kilobyte, which should be uploaded in PDF format only. Next, admit card of NEET UG 2024, the size should be 10 to 200 kilobytes. Next one, affidavit by female candidate as per annexure 4, 10 to 200 kilobytes. If the candidate is a female, then she has to upload the affidavit, the affidavit which should be given in the form of annexure 4 and should be notarized. After that only, you should scan and upload. The size should be 10 to 200 kilobytes only. Next two. Affidavit by IP in case of female candidate as per annexure 5, that is 10 to 200 kilobyte. Other important instructions, here they have given the basic details about the fee structure also. The tuition fee should be 24,000 rupees per annum. Okay, university charges as per actual, that is according to university norms, you have to pay. And the college security deposit of 5,000 rupees chargeable annually for every year you have to pay. And the hostel charges uh, that should be decided later, uh, all should be decided separately. So the fees should be paid only for four and a half years. Okay, next one. The eligibility criteria to apply for WADA of IP certificate is the first one is 
only a person who is insured person as per the act as on 39 2023 that is suppose if the insured person they are paying the insurance amount after september 30th they are not eligible to apply for this wada fib certificate so that the insurance should be paid only before 30th september um, those kind of people only eligible to avail the wada fib certificate next one the age the age of dependent male wada fib for eligibility under the seat selected for wada fib should not be more than 21 years that is for male students there is an age limit to avail the essc quota uh, on as on the date of submission of net application that is april 10th 2024 okay but for female students there is no age limit mentioned this is the model of wada fib certificate uh, which the essc provide you. next this is the wada fib certificate if the candidate ip is in receipt of permanent disability benefit this is the nxr4 affidavit for female candidate this affidavit should be taken on 100 rupees bond paper then should be duly notarized okay next one this is nxr5 this is also if the candidate is a female candidate this affidavit should be given by the ip that means a parent and this affidavit also should be taken on only 100 rupees bond paper and should be notarized so i hope you got the information about the online application for wada fib certificate how to apply and uh, where to apply and uh, should be careful in filling the online application if you have done any small mistake your application will be rejected so that you must be careful if you have any doubts please contact your uh, nearest regional essc office centers uh, there you should ask your doubts then only you should fill all these details very carefully and should submit on or before 12th may 2024 and you will get the wada fib certificate from this official website only on or before 15th may 2024 okay so wish you all the best if you have any queries please comment in the comment box definitely i will try to answer your doubts okay so if you are watching my video please subscribe to my channel all exams info in this channel i am giving my videos in english language only there is another channel that is menlo tutorials there i am providing neat videos in telugu language if you are interested please subscribe to these two channels and support me and please like share to your friends okay thank you and wish you all the best